Hello, my name is James Rees and I'm from Razorthorn Security. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about GRC tools, but before we go into that, a little bit about us. Razorthorn is an information security company that's been around for about 14 years. Um, we deal with information security compliance, assessments, testing, and um, a certain number of products as well from the, the security industry. Uh, we were in Gartner in 2018 for being one of the best PCI DSS QSA companies in Europe um, and we deal with a whole raft of different compliances from ISO 27001, PCI DSS, HIPAA, you name it, we've probably dealt with it at some point in the past. So GRC. So GRC stands for Governance, Risk Management and Compliance. Um, sometimes they call it governance, risk and compliance, but quite often you'll hear it referred to as GRC and I'll refer to it as that for the rest of this particular session. So what is a GRC tool? Right, so a GRC tool basically is there to provide a quality of life improvement for information security professionals in their day-to-day -day lives. As many of you probably already know, being information security professionals or interested in this particular space, the amount of data and things that we have to kind of deal with on a regular basis when it comes to information security can get quite large um, and without some form of ability to manage the quantity of work that we have, the quantity of data that we're receiving from all kinds of sources, it would make it extremely difficult for us to operate in any other way other than with some form of tool to assist us especially when it comes to things like reporting to boards, uh, reporting to the IT departments on, on you know, risks, issues, problems that we are potentially facing within the organisation. Um, it would be, make it very difficult. You can do it via documentation and Excel spreadsheets and, and, and all that kind of stuff, but really what you should be looking to do at some point is procure yourself some form of GRC tool to make your life a hell of a lot easier. If you're buying the right GRC tool, quite often you'll be getting component aspects of risk management. You may, if you've got a compliance requirement, say for PCI DSS, quite often any modules associated with that particular compliance model within your GRC tool will allow you to track where you currently stand uh, against full compliance. Uh, you'll be able to use it for project management to understand a little bit more about where you currently are versus what you need to do. Um, and you'll be able to report back to either the auditor or the C-suite or members of your board on currently where you are and maybe some of the issues that you have as well. This is what makes GRC tools particularly powerful. The ability to just pull all of that data into one place where you can have a single dashboard that offers you um, all kinds of useful graphs, indicators of what you need to do next. Sometimes there's ticketing systems attached to it as well, so you can ticket directly from your GRC tool or use your GRC tool as a ticketing system. Uh, to kind of remind maybe your information security professionals or other people around the business what they need to do in order to, to maintain at least a standard baseline level of security. It doesn't require a lot of experience to, to use one. I mean, it's always recommended to actually take the kind of course at the beginning when you first procure a GRC tool because at the end of the day, there's going to be all kinds of things that these GRC tools can do that you need to know about. You need to know where the, they are within the actual tool itself. So do undertake some form of training kind of before you embark on it. And make sure also you get good support. So if you do get a bit lost, you can always call up their support lines and find out you know, how to do something or how to get a particular report exported or how, maybe how to change reports. You know, Quite often GRC tools are particularly configurable that allow you to do all kinds of things and produce all kinds of, of cool graphs and charts and what have you uh, for you to do the reporting that you need to do. Um, it also allows you to track things like risks activities that you're doing at the moment to reduce risks, um, how you're treating risks. 
You can create your risk logs in GRC. You can get input to those GRC risk logs from other sources. You know, you can have multiple logins to the same tool with multiple access levels. So you may, as the information security professional, have access to all of those. But if you want to give one of the members of your team, you know, limited access to something such as just the risk components or the incident response side of things, then you can do that as well. And that's usually a simple interface. GRC tools kind of protect you in many respects from losing important data in a raft of documentation. You know, easy to find what you need to find when you want to find it without having to hunt for it. Especially if it's something that, that, that happened maybe two, three years ago and you just kind of want to go back and review that. That's where GRC tools are great. It's a lot easier than going back through old risk logs, old sort of reports that you've generated, trying to find that item that you're looking for. You know, um, GRC tools are really, really good at just protecting you from having to, to rush around. Um, definitely consider purchasing one. Um, they are a big return on investment. They're not a return on investment in, you know, that they will do your job for you, but they will reduce the amount of time required for you to do what you're there to do, which is run your information security. And it does allow you to really concentrate on that and not on how you're, you're recording it or how, you know, that information is being used. Um, it benefits everybody, really, you know. So seriously, if you are wondering how you're going to manage your information security going forward, look at any kind of GRC tool you can, run a proof of concept, test it out, give it a go. You may be surprised, you know. The amount that it costs to get one in pays dividends compared to how feasibly you, you, you were going to manage it in the, in, in the first place. So when you're procuring a GRC, to, a GRC tool or a system, there are a couple of things that you need to consider. First and foremost, do you want it on-premise or do you want it in the cloud? Everything at the moment seems to be going in the cloud. Um, a lot of GRC tools are cloud-based as well. Um, there are benefits to that. Um, it allows a lot more space for data sets. Uh, you don't have to worry so much about the servers they're on because they're actually running within um, a cloud infrastructure that's normally sort of procured either from the actual vendor themselves or maybe they've got a, a cloud solution that they use quite a lot. Quite a few people use Amazon AWS, for instance, or Azure, something like that. Um, when procuring a GRC tool, make sure that it comes either inbuilt with the modules that you want um, or that it's got access to the modules you require. Some GRC tools kind of deliver everything to you as one big lump. You know, you'll have the risk components, the incident response components, um, everything that you need to do your job. Others may be a little bit more modular. Quite often, obviously, you'll get a baseline level of, of service from a GRC tool, but seriously look at what you need to do. So certain compliance requirements, for instance, might be, that might be an additional module that you might need to, to procure. So make sure you check your pricing, communicate with an information security professional who knows what your business is, who knows a bit about you, um, who can help you sort of go down the right route to pick up the right tool with the right modules to, that means you're not going to be disappointed down the line. Another thing to obviously consider is ease of use. There are a lot of older GRC tools that are very clunky, um, they're very old, they, don't, you know, they do work but they're very very complex. What you're really looking for is a GRC tool that you are comfortable with. Hence why I say always do at least two, maybe three proof of concepts. Spend a bit of time looking at that GRC tool to make sure that you're, you're happy that it does what you need it to do and that it's easy for you to use. There's no point in going out and paying large amounts of money for a tool that, that 
you're finding it difficult in using. There's no point in it. Eventually, you're not going to be getting anywhere near as much as you need out of it, and you may be missing quite a bit that, that, that you could be using it for. There's no real alter you know, alternative to a GRC, GRC system beyond, as I mentioned before, running it on a manual basis with spreadsheets, Excel spreadsheets, Word documents, that kind of thing. Um, some ticketing systems and, and similar kind of systems will say that, that they also do GRC. They usually don't, or if they do, it's probably not what you're looking for. So always look at some of the, the, the best players in this particular business. Um, it's definitely something that you, you, you need to be very careful about when you start looking at your GRC solution. So how can we help you? Well, at Razorthorn, I mean, I've, I've been a CISO for a number of different companies. I'm a CISO for, for quite a few at this moment in time. And understanding where each of those companies are on a, on a risk perspective, incident perspective, you know, it's very hard to kind of keep track when you've got a number of different customers. So we've gone out and we've procured um, some fantastic GRC tooling, which allows us to really kind of manage those customers efficiently and effectively and produce them all the reports that they need, give them all the guidance that we can, you know, that we can, backed up with the real facts that we, we manage and gather and plug into those GRC tools. For customers who are, you know, not looking for us to kind of manage their information security, we've also helped a number of organisations select the right GRC tool for them. Um, it's a very big Thing very close to my heart to make sure that information security people have the best possible way of doing the job that they can. So we will always be working to, to get the right GRC tool for you. And it won't be based on price, it's going to be based on efficiency and effectiveness. Um, we are here to help you. Uh, we have a website www.razorthorn.com. You can also contact us via email. Um, the, Emails are, are on the website, um, or you can contact us via LinkedIn, various other different mediums as well. Um, thank you ever so much for being a part of this V blog. Uh, if you've got any questions, pick up the phone, send us an email, we'll be more than happy to assist you going forward. Thank you very much, and I hope to speak to you, some of you soon.